This is one of the great questions. How many advanced civilizations capable, at least of radio astronomy, are there in the Milky Way galaxy? Let's call the number of such civilizations by the capital letter N. It's a number. It depends on many things. It depends on the total number of stars in the Milky Way. Let's call that uh, N sub star. It depends on the fraction of stars that have planets. Let's call that F sub P. It depends on the average number of planets in a given solar system that are ecologically suitable for life. Let's call that N sub E. It depends on the fraction of suitable planets in which life actually arises. Call that F sub L. It depends on the fraction of inhabited planets on which intelligence emerges. Let's call that F sub I. And on the fraction of those planets in which the intelligent beings evolve a technical communicative civilization, call that F sub C. Finally, it depends on the fraction of a planet's lifetime that's graced by a technical civilization, call that F sub L. Together, we've estimated capital N, the number of civilizations. This equation, due mainly to Frank Drake of Cornell, is only a sentence. The verb is equals. suitable for life. On only some of those worlds will intelligence arrive. Then even the nearest may be very far away. 